Colby, what goes through your mind when you see Sule at the free throw line at the end of a game? Uh, ball game. I mean, he's as solid as they come. I knew, I knew he was going to hit those in the timeout. He was like, I'm hitting both of these as games. So, I mean, I feel very confident with Sue at the, at the free throw line at the end of the game. What allowed you guys to get going about midway through the second half? I think you were down 70 to 64. You go on a 16 to 4 run to sort of take control of the game again. What did you see? What did you feel in that moment? Um, I think we just uh, switched up our lineup. We went smaller um, lineup, just get the ball moving, get, no, get those guys out of position. So I feel like that was a, a great adjustment made by a coach. And um, I just feel like our team, we executed that. And I feel like that was a big key. So, Lake, could you talk about your execution down the stretch and what were the keys to it? Uh, I mean, that was a really good team we just battled with. Um, we just wanted to uh, keep play our game, push the pace on offense, share the ball. And we really just try to emphasize stops because they were really scoring the ball with E. So we were trying to just get as many stops as we can and, and just and um, move the ball, start moving the ball quicker offensively. It's, a, it's another game where you look at the score and you think, well, you've struggled again defensively. But you had that four-minute stretch late in the second half where you held them without a field goal. Yeah. Um, how, how do you kind of start to put more stretches like that together in games? I mean, um, it's I mean it's, it's very difficult. Um, the way we play, getting out on, on offense and, and got to guard our mans on defense, so it's it's not as easy as everyone think it is. But we just that's that's what it takes to to be a really good team. So we just got to keep growing in that area. I know we talked about it a lot towards the beginning of the season, but um, I feel like we did that in the game today, like you said. So we just got to keep getting better and keep improving, and, and know that's gonna win us win us games against really good teams. And I feel like we did that. Um, uh, at timely moments when the game was close tonight. You, you guys are clicking on all cylinders. What difference has Coach Miller made in this this whole thing? Um, I mean, he has a great game plan. He's a great coach. Um, he just gives all his players confidence. But I feel like the biggest thing is um, all of our all of my teammates. I mean, we're all buying into the to his system. I feel like that's a big key. I mean, everyone's unselfish. I mean, Sue had eight assists and no turnovers tonight. So, I mean, just like players like that, I mean, when you buy in like that, it's, um, it's a good thing. Sule, was that, was that the highest finger roll you've ever had, do you think? <laughs> nah, I didn't, have, I didn't have a lot, man. At UTEP, San Francisco, I'd have had a lot of those. I mean, y'all probably ain't seen them because I was under the radar, but, um, but I'd have had a lot of those layups. Um, another game where Jerome Hunter comes off the bench and has an immediate impact. What does his energy do for you guys when he comes on the court? Um, he just raises everyone else's energy because you know he's going to come with it every single game, um, making the hustle plays, making the right plays. Um, hit a timely three today. So, I mean, just for him to play like that, I mean, it's really um, inspiring for all of us and it helps us raise our level. Uh, just following up when I asked, like, what is it that Coach Miller has done to get you to buy in? I mean, nothing too specific. He just emphasizes sharing the ball. And, um, yeah, I mean, we follow his orders because um, we know he's a <laughs> he great a leader. Coach, yeah. He a good coach, man. He a good coach.